All right, listen here. This is the Tartarus Pro, all right? I'm actually pissed. I'm pissed, okay? It's been four years. It's been four years, okay? And this thing is not getting enough clout. It's not getting enough clout. People are sleeping on this thing. I'm going to tell you why. All right, listen, y'all. So I've been using this thing exclusively for the last four years. Hold on. Let me let me check. Let me check real quick. How long, when, when did I get this thing? I'm going to find out for you. Okay, nearly four years. <laughs> all right. So I got this thing in January of 2021. All right. So I've been gaming exclusively on this thing for like things like FPS shooters, uh, just general like storyline sort of games, uh, things that are just kind of easy like to change the inputs in. This has been like my ride or die since 2021, the beginning of 2021. And it's kind of like whenever I talk to people about it, they're like, like oh, you play like mouse and keyboard. Like, no, I play Tartarus and mouse. Uh, the reason why I say that is because this is not a keyboard, and I think that's the problem with a lot of like the reviews on this thing. People have been trying to use this as a keyboard. A keyboard, this is not, okay? This is like as if you had a controller, woohoo, make love to a keyboard, all right? And then you had his love child, and this is that. So, like I said, I'm gonna have some bias. I'm gonna have some bias. I have been using this thing exclusively for the last few years, and I love it. I love it, all right? I'm not going, I'm not telling you to go out and buy it right now, but I'm gonna tell you why I like it so much, okay? So, first of all, how I ended up starting with the Tartarus is that, you know, I got, I was new into PC gaming, and the whole, like, keyboard, mouse sort of thing, I wanted to get into it, but I wasn't sold on using, like, the WASD on my keyboard. It just wasn't for me. I was losing more than I was winning. It just wasn't a comfortable experience for me. And a lot of people are going to hate, and they're like, oh, you're not a true keyboard and mouse player if you don't use the actual keyboard. Yeah, sure, you're right. Okay, listen, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine that you think that. That's fine that you think that. Hold that energy. Okay, this is half controller, half keyboard. All right, this bad boy right here. Okay, so what I like about it, okay, so first of all, people are using it wrong. I said that earlier before, but people are using it wrong. So, a lot of games allow you to change the key binds, and I take full advantage of that. So, hear me out, hear me out. Do not use this like it's a keyboard, you will hate your life. I don't know if you notice here. I don't know if you notice here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Do you know what? Do you know what this thing is? Do you know what this thing is or tries to be? Okay. I'll 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 I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. You know what this is here? This thing. That's what's called a joystick. A joystick. Okay. And if you are underutilizing it when you get this thing, then yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. All right, so this is your this is your controller, all right? And you're used to doing this, okay? Keyboard players are used to doing this. All right? So, here's the problem. Here's the problem. I hate WASD. So, what I end up doing is I go into my game and I swap my keybinds. I'll go ahead and throw you up what I usually do for my keybinds, okay? So, WASD, I do not use for movement. Okay, once again, going back to this mystery item that people somehow forgot this thing had, we're going back to focusing. Okay. This right here is a joystick. Okay. We can use that for movement. Okay. And if you go and you searched how to use a joystick for the Tartarus, you might find that there's not a whole lot of videos on it. Um, so this might serve as that too on just how to use this sort of thing, but you would think it'd be pretty self-intuitive. All right. I know this is coming out hot. This is coming out hot. I, I'm feeling aggression for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just like, I think I just came off a video of someone just bashing this thing for like 20, 20 minutes, 12, 20 minutes, whatever. Um, they're using it like a keyboard. Stop. It's not that. All right. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you what it's like to do some gaming on this thing. All right, we're gonna show you guys some big brain stuff here. It's not very big brain at all, though. All right, so uh, everyone's problem with this is that the WASD is not is not doing good for that, and the jumping is in a weird spot. Okay, listen. So notice I'm moving with this magical joystick. Okay, it's so magical, big brain. All right. So what's cool about it though is is that I'm not. You know, I'm not using the WASD. What I am using the WASD for is doing like the jumping. Okay, you see where the D should be, I'm doing the jumping. I'm gonna hold W, it's gonna help me sprint. All right, I'm gonna use the, what is essentially A, 
and do, using my like throwing knives, my like grenades, whatever, blah blah blah. Okay. So yes, this is a bot lobby, and I'm getting I'm getting shot up in a bot lobby, but uh, it's just to prove a point here. Okay. Um, but we're not using WASD for movement. That's the whole reason I got this thing. And if you're trying to get this thing for just having a smaller keyboard, it's probably going to be a little bit weird. But if you are open-minded and you're trying to have kind of a different sort of play style, or you're just not used to mouse keyboard, but you want to kind of get into it, this is kind of the gateway to getting over there. But I say gateway, but I've been, I've been using this thing for, for nearly four years. Okay. Uh, so like the like the jumping like they said like I'm using D I'm not using the space bar the space bar I've binded to enter so I can go blah you know blah 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 in my chat it's whatever okay because that's got it's like my enter button so I'm gonna pull up my chat uh, this button right here which is usually reserved for changing presets I have it as the escape key because it's just more convenient like that I've got a nice convenient escape button right there when I want to change my presets I'll go into the actual like razor synapse change it there uh, when when like I said rarely it is that I actually use that uh, changing it but I do like to change it for maybe I'm doing like some video edit editing or something like that all right so we're gonna hop into our settings really quick okay and let's check this out, okay? So in my keyboard and mouse settings, I'm gonna go to my keybinds, and this is where, like I said, you don't need to really change it in the Ranger set Razor Synapse, okay? So I have, you see like the forward, back, left, right. Notice I have a uh, control left, control right here. This is because you can use like a combination controls, like hotkey, because this has the availability to do eight directional movement. It gets really funky when you try messing with it. Uh, at some point I had it uh, programmed to do it, but really I have no problem just moving around in circles. So like I said, we're doing, we have only the four directional movement on, but we're able to make perfect circles. It's not, it's not a problem. It's pretty easy. And yeah, honestly, like I said, this is how I've been playing this game for years. I'm probably, the, I'm, I am the only person I'm aware of that uses it all the time. I'm sure there's other people out there that are using it, but there's not enough people that are talking about it online. A lot of people are, are bad mouthing this thing and it's it's kind of pissing me off. One thing people are complaining about a lot is just like the comfort of it. Um, personally, I, like I said, I've been using this for years, so I'm just used to it at this point. I do have rather large hands. I'm about 6'2", I got big hands. Um, and so for me, I have it set to where this thing kind of like is on the very bottom set. So there's two options here is a close option and a far option, okay? You just kind of put in the different things. If you did have smaller hands, you'd go to this top one, and for me, like, that's, like, way too far out. You see, like, uh, my my fingers are going, like, well past, like, the tippies over, over here. Okay, that's why I use, like, this kind of bottom area down here, okay? So my fingers fall perfectly in WASD. Like I said, I'm used to it. This just had my hands fall on the thing. Um, I'm very comfortable using this thing, and... Yeah. So my final thoughts on this whole situation is, is like I said, I have bias. I've been using it for a long time, but don't write it out. Okay. This is a very viable option for like your play type. My dogs are barking. Uh, it's a very viable option for gaming. I do not have issues with this. I, I love it. Uh, some games it's easier. It's not as easy to bind controls with. So it's either you got to rock a, a controller or just get good at WASD on a keyboard, an actual keyboard. Um, but for most games, they have really good uh, keybind settings, which I'm sure you're aware of. So, yeah, things are made pretty easy with this thing. So, like I said, my final thoughts would be check it out um, if you know you're interested in this sort of thing. If you're interested in uh, using a ooh, 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 a magical joystick with your gaming, okay, a magical joystick. All right, it. it if you will not like this thing. I'm going to say this one last time. You will not like this thing if you try to use it as a keyboard. Use it as a controller, keyboard, hybrid, and you'll have a great time. And so with that, I bid you good luck and make the decision on your own. But I want to put my two cents out there because I've seen a lot of negative reviews on this thing. I've used it for a long time. I'm a huge fan. Uh, shout out to Razer. I'm um, kind of a, a shield for their stuff. I've got the Razer Goliath keep aboard mat, the, you know, the V3 mouse. I've got the Huntsman mini keyboard. I've got the, the Black Shark headphones. <laughs> um, so, you know, obviously I have some bias. I really do like Razer, um, but this thing has just been like a ride or die for me for basically since I got into PC gaming.
And so I'll go ahead and leave you guys with that. Um, I hope that this helped you make a decision on whether or not you wanted to buy it, or maybe you're just watching because you wanted to, uh, you, you agree with me or don't agree with me. Um, so anyways, uh, go ahead and drop that like uh, if you, uh, you know, if you like this review, drop a dislike if you didn't like it. Um, you know, <laughs> that's that's completely fair. Uh, add some comments below if you have any questions about it. I'd be happy to answer. Um, and if you just want to talk crap in the comment section below, we can do that too. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I uh, uh, bid you adieu. You guys have a great rest of your existence. Deuces.